Well, Prime Minister Julia Gillard should have been taking the fight to opposition leader Tony Abbott yesterday in election 2010. Instead, she had to battle the opponents within her own ranks, dealing with the fallout from a cabinet leak that she opposed cabinet, uh, Labor's pension rise and paid parental leave scheme when they were debated around the table. But at least she doesn't have to worry about a pre-election interest rate rise next week. Inflation is moderating, according to figures released yesterday, so the Reserve Bank board is almost certain to keep official rates on hold when it meets next week. And that would undermine significantly the coalition's argument that government spending is pushing up rates and the cost of living generally. But yesterday, the coalition came up with a counterpunch of its own on the economic policy, pledging to cut company tax rate deeper than the government will. It's also signalling it will make its parental leave scheme more business friendly when it releases the details in a couple of days' time. The Treasurer and Deputy Prime Minister Wayne Swan joins you now in our breakfast studio. Treasurer, good morning. Good morning, Fran. It's great to be here. Treasurer, you must have breathed a sigh of relief when you got those inflation figures yesterday. This will get you through the election without an interest rate rise, won't it? Well, certainly inflation is moderating. Underlying inflation is is within the target band and it is li- in line with uh, forecasts forecast from both the RBA and the Treasury. But we shouldn't forget this, Fran, that uh, that the official cash rate is 4.5 now. It reached 6.75% under the Liberal Party. But the most important thing that we've got to do is put in place a range of policies which put downward pressure on inflation and therefore downward pressure on rates. And of course, Mr Abbott's increase in the company tax rate of 1.7% is going to push up going to push up business costs and put pressure on inflation. I'll get to company tax rates in a moment, but the flip side of falling inflation is a softer economy. Are you worried growth will be slowing? Is slowing? I, uh, Fran, I think the economy is well placed. We've got moderating inflation. We created 350,000 jobs uh, in the past year. We have avoided recession and we are bringing the budget back to surplus in, in three years three years early. I think the settings that we've got at the moment are very good, but what we have to do as we go forward is to make the necessary investments for the future to broaden and to strengthen our economy. And really, that's what the economic debate is about in this campaign. But never forget, had the Liberals been in power, Australia would have went into recession, unemployment would be far higher, deficits would be far higher, and debt would be far higher. It must be frustrating then that voters aren't feeling a little more confident. Economists say the biggest driver of yesterday's low inflation number is consumer caution. If the voters aren't feeling safe enough to spend, if they're nervous about the future, it doesn't bode well for their attitude towards your government in the election campaign, Well, Fran, there has been uh, uncertainty uh, in the global economy. We've all watched the, the sovereign debt issues in Europe, the uncertainty that has flowed from that, which has hit stock markets and financial markets. That is a factor in the outlook, which is why, which is why we need the settings that we are putting forward for the future. That is why we need to invest in our infrastructure to make sure that we put downward pressure on inflation in terms of the development of the resources boom mark too, to make sure we cut the company tax rate and give a big tax cut to small business. That's why we must boost our superannuation savings to broaden and strengthen our economy as we go forward and to maximise the opportunities which will flow from mining boom mark two. The Coalition has been focusing on cost of living pressures under your government and yesterday's figures do show a fair bit of cost of living pain being felt. Electricity prices up by 18%, mm. water, this is for the year, water up 14% for the year, gas prices up 10% for the year. Is there anything you as Federal Treasurer can do to lessen the pain of everyday things like your electricity bill going up? Well, certainly what we have been doing, which is delivering three rounds of tax cuts. They have been very important. They put a bit of extra money in the pocket of working families. They have been important. That's why we delivered the most substantial increase in the age pension in generations, something that the Liberal Party didn't have the wit to do in 12 years when it was raining gold bars. That's why we have increased assistance in terms of childcare, the education tax refund and so on. All of that has been very important. But I tell you what, as we go forward, you don't actually ease inflationary pressures by cutting investment and infrastructure, which is what Mr Abbott wants to do, cutting trades training centres, which is what Mr Abbott wants to do, cutting education educational expenditure, which is what Mr Abbott wants to do. That's the mistake the Liberals made in mining boom Mark 1.